Um, how does the human brain make the decisions it makes? The decisions? Uh, you know what? That is a really good question. And to answer your question, we don't really know. Um, so that actually is a lot of my research, is knowing how your brain actually makes decisions. And uh, it seems like what your brain does is your brain, your brain builds a model of the world around you. So your brain can always predict what would happen if you do different things. And then your brain also kind of has a prediction about how good or bad certain things would be. Uh, and so then but every time you have to make a decision, your brain goes through a little bit of what we call reasoning. And so it sits there and it, and it says, well, okay, if I do this, then I think this is going to happen and that's going to be good. If I do this, then I think that's going to happen. I think that's going to be bad. And so then it goes ahead and picks that. And then that sends commands to your neurons and to your hands and to your legs and to your mouth. And that's when the decision sort of happens. Uh, and, the, and the only tricky part about that is that your brain isn't quite sure what's going to happen because you can never know what exactly is going to happen. And so your brain has to, it's a little more complicated than that because your brain has to understand um, how to how to handle uncertainty in what it's trying to do. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a good question though. You should, you, should, uh, you, should, you should think about that question more. These are good questions, you guys. How did you come up okay. with this question? Okay, uh, oh. answer, answer hey, Dr. You, Wingate. Yes, to your question. Okay, we just thought of them. Well, what That's was the hard. premise? But Tell Dr. Wingate how it all started. What did what Mr. To, Bergman ask you to come up we with? We had to come up with the problem in the world that science could solve, and we came up with, you know. Like, that what couldn't answer. What couldn't answer it right away? Uh, a Google search. Right. A Google search. We cannot find the answer to our questions on a Google search or a Bing search. Yeah. Yeah. Or a Bing search. <laughs> yeah. Well, these are these are exactly the kinds of questions that are some of the most important questions in science right now. So, if these uh, young men wanted to go, um, how does the brain decide to make good and bad choices, and what triggers these choices? Oh, well, that's a good question. Um, so. A lot of people have wondered this question, and um, I, I guess the question is really like, why do we make bad choices, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, the answer is it's not, we again don't know really. Um, I think what people, most people think is that inside of our brain, you have lots of different parts of your brain. So you have some parts of your brain that are good at video games, and some parts that are good at recognizing your sister, and some parts that are good at eating lunch. <laughs> Um, you've got all these different parts of your brain and they're all working together to help solve problems. But different parts of your brain, um, uh, different parts of your brain, they sort of have conflicting, sometimes they sort of give conflicting pieces of information to other parts of your brain. So for example, sometimes, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're at school and you're taking a test and your test taking neurons are working really hard but then you're, I've got to go to the bathroom neurons, start firing, and like this, just start fighting, right? You're like trying to take the test, trying to go to, you no, know, I can't go to the bathroom, but these guys say, hey, I really got to go to the bathroom, right? So, so different parts of your, it's like different parts of your brain are almost like different people, and they sit there and sometimes they fight. So why do people make bad decisions? Well, I think sometimes it's because we just haven't learned enough about how to make a good decision, and sometimes it's because the wrong parts of our brain win that little fight. Um, I think we can learn to make good decisions, um, and that's what we're, that's what people are really good at, is learning.